Hello and welcome, it's great to see you. Today I'm sharing with you how I made this super cute little sequin shaker embellishment. Um, I wanted a fun way to send some sequins that would also look pretty on some mail. So I came up with this little shaker tassel pouch, <laughs> I'm not even sure what to call it. The first thing I'm doing is pouring out some of the sequins that came in the kit. And then I've got this plastic piece. So this is part of a page protector and I've just cut one of the squares. Um, I don't think this is quite three by four, but it, it's around that size. And then I've got two strips of paper from the kit. I've just cut these, I believe they are an inch thick and then they are twice as long as the edges of the plastic that I'm trying to put them on. So, um, you can see here how I'm sticking those on. These are slightly longer because I think it looks neater when I add it this way and then trim off the excess, but you could definitely measure this exactly and that would work as well. Adding each side on. When you're doing this, make sure that one of your sides is gonna remain open. So three of these are already sealed and I'm making sure that my paper is going on two of those edges so that with the third one sealed, the other one is still open for me to add my sequins. I have no idea why I've done these opposite ways round. Um, maybe I just preferred the pattern on this half, I'm not entirely sure. Making it sure that the enjoy it piece fits nicely in the shaker portion, because I know that I really wanna use that one on my embellishment. Gluing those to the plastic. And then I go and stitch three sides. There you go, showing you that I've left one open. Make sure you do that or you have nowhere to put your sequins. Stitched those three. Then I have added some extra sequins to this mix. I just wanted to be able to make two of these um, and I needed more sequins for that. So I have added basically the same as what was in there, same colors, just more of them. And filled up my little shaker pouch. I'm squishing these all down flat because then it's easier to stitch. Stitching along the open side and cutting off the excess. I go back and stitch around all four sides again, purely because I wasn't happy with how straight my lines were. And if I add another line, it looks like intentional messy stitching. So I've gone ahead and done that um, in just a second. I'm ahead of myself here. I disappear in just a second. I'm looking at the lines now thinking, hmm, there we go. That's those all fixed. My sequins are now securely inside the little shaker pocket. I take this heart from the kit and the word enjoy, stitch those together and pop those in the center. I look at using a strip of the heart from one of the papers. Ultimately, it doesn't make it because I think I forget to stick it down because I think it looks super cute. But it does cover a lot of the hearts, so that might be why I didn't use it in the end. You can't actually see many of the hearts once it's stuck down. I know that I wanna do something a little bit different with this. So I've seen a lot of people turn this sort of thing into like a crisp packet type edge with um, a screwing tool. But I have these fringe scissors that I have had forever and I barely use them. So I figured this would look really cute with like little tassel fringe edges, which it does. I don't love how these scissors cut in that each of the blades seems to cut slightly longer than the others. Like some of them cut slightly longer than others, but it works out cute overall. So I've added my tassel edges there. You could have those as long or as short as you wanted them. I, I think I said they were an inch at the beginning. So I think I think I'm right. <laughs> They're around that. Another little tip here if you're cutting foam tape is to make sure that both sides are on that sort of adhesive, um, not adhesive, what's the word, like the tape that you pull off of the adhesive, sorry, so that it doesn't ruin your scissors when you cut through. That is a top tip for not ruining scissors when you're cutting your foam tape. Having a look at all of the other embellishments in the kit, I know I want to use one of these tiny words. They are some of my favourite things in every month's kit. This one says, loving this right now. Um, I'm reading on the screen, sorry. And I pop that in the top left corner. It doesn't stay there, but it ends up on one of the edges. So it does end up on the project. 
adding these little enamel dots this is where i decide that i don't love where that sticker is try it in a few places and it ends up down here on the right hand side which i actually really love i think it adds like a little subtle something adding these orange enamel dots which i've been trying to use up for my stash forever little iridescent ones you guys know those are some of my favorites they go on every project they match every color scheme i love them if they ever run out i don't know what i'm gonna do and that is all of the little sparkly bits i'm adding i believe oh another orange one i go back and look for another little heart i end up with this blue one to stack behind there adds another little layer another little bit of something and then it's all ready to add onto my mail and I will insert a picture shortly so you can see it all wrapped up and ready to go. Thanks so much for hanging out and crafting with me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you again very soon. Thanks for being here. Bye.